In the previous video, we showed you how we create a very simple role to get an access to Active Directory with no, for, no workflow involved, I mean, no, no approval. Now we're going to make something a little bit more advanced as we progress with the tool. Again, no coding. We're going to create another role. We're going to call this uh, Access uh, to AD and BO LDAP uh, manager approval. And uh, all we need to do is enable access for that role. We're done with it. Next thing we need to do now is actually uh, create a provisioning policy that we're going to tie it up to this role. So we're going to manage provisioning policies. We create a new provisioning policy. The name we're going to the same, you know. Let's say access, well, too many C's there. Access to BOAD and BOLDAP with manager approval. And uh, we're not going to use any of these features for this video now. And uh, who's going to, how are we going to tie this up with? Well, we're going to say that it's with roles and the role we just created. This one, access to AD and BOLDAP manager approval. We click OK. And what do I get when I get this role? Well, we're going to create, as before, an automatic access to a specific service, which is the BOAD, as we did before. Click OK. And we also are going to create uh, access to another component. But right in here, we can actually specify that for you to get this, you're going to have, we're going to use a workflow, and the workflow is manager approval for accounts. It's actually pretty simple. And uh, we click OK, and we're going to add another entitlement to this role. So when you get that role, you get two things. Another specific service, and this is going to be the BOLDAP, which is uh, right here. We click OK, and we also specify that manager approval is required for this. And we do it twice because uh, ITIM is smart enough to know that you may have one of the entitlements, and uh, but we want them for, for anyone who gets both of the entitlements to get manager approval. We'll see, and we remember that uh, Johan Santana, in the previous video, he got access to the BOAD service. So when he will request access to this role, the system knows that he already has uh, access to the BOAD, and he's not going to create that. Uh, but it's going to give him the access to the BO LDAP. When do we want this? Effective immediately. Okay. So, uh, we are done here. All we need to do now is to have uh, Johan to actually request. We make sure that he logs back in. Jay Santana smart way was his password, he's going to request another access. And the access he's going to request is, uh, we also call that this access, I believe, in access to BO and LDAP manager approval. Perfect. We click request, but now this stuff is going to remain in progress. And he wants to click everything that is in blue is a link. He can click in here and say, you know, why I'm not getting this? Oh, because my manager power needs to approve that. Pretty good. Let's log off from here. And his manager should have gotten an email indicating that that's the case. I mean, we can actually bring the console here um, and bring the... And this is all by default. The, the, the default workflows do that. So if we log in into the Thunderbird console, we're going to see that his manager, where is uh, his manager, Eric Powers, should have gotten an email indicating that there's a painting workflow case that he needs to actually take care of. How do he get to it? He clicks on the link, he goes into ITIM, same nice looking console, uh, a dashboard. He logins and ePowers. He's there, manager approved. Remember, the same interface for everybody. The system wants him to do something and say, you know, my, Johan wants this. If he wants to approve that, he's going to actually get it. 
you know, say I approve, you put whatever you want to put here that it will show up on the reports. And by just doing that, notice that if we log in as Jay Santana, he got, now we see the accounts that he had. And by virtue of getting that role, he got now the BO LDAP account he didn't have before. And if we see the accesses that he had, he got two roles. The one with Active Directory and the one his manager just approved. But now, you, you may go along this way, but there's something that we want to point out, which is the fact that there are some things that you may want to get uh, that you don't need to provide roles for. Let me uh, show you an example. I'm going to log in here as uh, D, uh, Dan Mayers. I'm going to put a small way here. It's also his password. Make this easy in the demo. And uh, then it's going to request an access. And notice that in here, um, again, let's go to Active Directory and we see that Dan Mayers is not in AD. And he's going to request, I have advertised here, and I'll show you how we did this, uh, VPN access. And the, all, of these, all this is, is uh, an AD account with membership of a group called VPN access. Notice that there's no role involved in here. You can just request this access. And when he looks at the view request, he just got that. Now he's in AD, just like that. Okay. He can also request access to another role. And let, let's go into Active Directory and actually see which groups Mr. Mayor is member of in AD. And he's a member of the domain users and the VPN user, who he, he's the one that, that he just got. So he got created into AD and was made member of that group. And also, we can do as before. We can actually, uh, he can go and request access and let's say he wants access to the mortgage application, which is a group we create, mortgage, a group we created uh, from ITIM actually into AD itself. So that's the application he wants. He requests it. And as before, it's going to be pending for his manager to approve it. His manager is, is Ivan Turing. Pretty good. So we log in as Ivan Turing. And as before, he approves it. He has something pending from a recertification. Before, he approves that. Again, comments for the report to show up. And by just doing that, Mr. Mayers is going to get access to that application as well. So what I wanted to show is that the, the thing that we did uh, with uh, Johan Santana and roles, I can also do them with accesses. Notice that he's now a member of that other group as well. And uh, we have manager approvals and, and all that. Uh, we didn't have to create roles for that. Let me first show you what is it that, uh, how is it that we uh, do this. So let's go into the console. We go into manage services. We look at the service that we selected for this, and this was actually was the OFN Active uh, Directory, and we're going to click here on Manage Groups, and we click here uh, Search. And we go here and look for VPN access. There should be a group here, here called VPN access. And here it is. Okay. And uh, we can actually, you know, click on the, on the actual link and see what is it that we define in here. You know, member of what group, uh, you know, access information. Uh, no approval required on the workflow. If we go to the mortgage application, we're going to find out that we specify on that one a workflow for uh, mortgage, ap mortgage application user. Here it is. We, we, we specify a workflow for the manager to approve. Here it is. So what I want to point out is that we can do the same that we did with roles with accesses 
and when do you apply each? Well, roles should be, as we said at the introduction of the video, something that aggregates a bunch of accesses, a bunch of entitlements. Something that should have a, 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 a name that is descriptive of the things that you get. You don't want to end up having, you know, almost as many roles as people. So many things that you have, particularly that are type of menu based, like, I, well, I want access to this application, and I want access to this, this, and that, and you want to provide them like a list of the things that they want to access. There's no need to create a role for that. You could, and nothing prevents you from it, but uh, you can also achieve the same result by using the accesses in item. And you can do recertifications, which we will show later, reconciliation, all the actions you do with roles, you can actually do them with the accesses. So it's a great way of really keeping in check the number of uh, roles that you have. And again, this is for things that typically users request more than they get automatically. And uh, they, they work nice and, uh, and dandy in, in item accesses and role. And we're going to be doing uh, some, some more uh, elaborated cases where we will show this.